if you don't feel like praying this is what you need to do sometimes you will not feel like praying yet you have been told pray without ceasing in fact the bible says if any one of you is afflicted let them pray and sometimes you feel so bad and you feel you need prayers but you don't feel like praying so how do you activate that mood and momentum of prayer now if you can speak in tongues you have an advantage because what happens with tongues it shuts down your mind and it's now the spirit your own spirit and the spirit of god that are speaking to each other directly and when you just start speaking in tongues shut what it does it just activates and edifies you to actually even pray but now if you cannot speak in tongues here are three things you can do and probably it might activate the momentum and the fire of praying in your life number one create an atmosphere now you wake up you don't feel like praying you know very well you need to pray create an atmosphere now the atmosphere that you create in your house and especially if you can just play like worship music that itself activates an atmosphere in the bible you can see that music was so powerful in fact there is a time king saul had an evil spirit that was giving him a hard time and the bible says that he asked for someone who is good in playing the harp and king david was invited and he came and whenever he played the harp the bible says the evil spirit disappeared now there's another story of Elisha the prophet and he wanted to pray and to prophesy and to tell the three kings what is about to happen and the Bible says that he asked for a musician and said get me a musician and the music was making him to actually have the Spirit of God to prophesy the Bible says in 2nd Kings 3 verse 15 now this is King Saul he says but bring me a musician then it happened now this is Elisha I'm sorry but now bring me a musician then it happened when the musician played that the hand of the Lord came upon him the fire was activated through creating an atmosphere first Samuel 16 verse 23 and so it was whenever the spirit from God was upon Saul that David would take a harp and play it with his hand then Saul would become refreshed and well and the distressing spirit would depart from him number two if you want to activate the fire of praying is to also give thanks so the Bible says that give thanks in all things by the way anyone that comes with a heart of gratitude automatically there's something that happens there is always something to thank God for you can thank him for good life you can thank him for his protection you can thank him for his favor you can thank him that you are okay you're not struggling the few areas pick areas that you know very well you are thankful for automatically that gets you in the mood by the way gratitude is what leads into multiplication now gratitude or appreciation multiplies and qualifies you into multiplication so gratitude is so powerful psalms 100 verse 4 enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful to him and bless his name as you penetrate those realms as you get into the courts of heaven you go with thanksgiving automatically uh, that softens your heart and aligns you and you're, you get ready now to actually pray and you might have a breakthrough number three you can also quote scriptures ah scriptures are so powerful my friend anytime you pick a scripture in the bible and quote it with your tongue automatically it aligns your heart and makes you puts you in a position now where you can actually pray and pray from the deepest part of your heart scriptures are so powerful the bible says in hebrews 4 verse 12 for the word of god is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing into the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a designer of the thoughts and the intents of the heart those three things can help to assist you but now if you want to go to a higher level and you want to even pray for longer speaking tongues that gift of praying in tongues is so powerful my friend and you can receive it they are they are very easy steps to receive the holy spirit number one you have to first repent 
and come and get the salvation that Jesus came to give you. Number two, you need to desire it. You need to desire the gift of speaking in tongues. It has to be something that you hunger and you're so passionate for. People who hunger for something, they will do anything. They'll even go looking for events or uh, encounter nights that are happening so that you can receive that impartation. And number three, uh, it's just to surrender. Surrender yourself. You'll be shocked. When you surrender and just say, this is it God, I need to receive this thing. And then the Bible also says that Peter, when he laid his hands on people, the Bible says that the people received the Holy Spirit. You can also receive that impartation by having a man of God lay his hands on you. Powerful. These are amazing ways to keep the fire burning. The Bible says that the altar should be kept burning at all times.